why am I living in a place where I am not happy? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And I'm not gonna lie, I feel so guilty about this. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the vlog. And specifically, welcome to the Clancy Room, where normally on a Monday, vibes aren't good. You just have the whole work week ahead of you, and... You know, you you know, you know what a Monday is like, but technically today's Thursday because guys, I only have a two day work week. That we, uh, that's insane. Like what? Like it's crazy. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have any big plans. I just had a bunch of vacation days that I had to either use them or I was gonna lose them and I decided I use them. So I have Wednesday, Thursday and Friday off of this week. And then not only that, I have the entire next week off. Just, just, just chilling. I've never done this before. I've never done such a thing because especially having family who live so far away, anytime I can get time off, I go home or obviously like I've had different trips in the past. I've been to Ireland, like to see my other family. Like it just, I, I always have something and I'm just doing absolutely nothing. I've, I've heard of this little, this little myth of staycations where people just take off from work and do absolutely nothing and finally I'm I'm gonna be a part of this myth I'm doing it guys I am doing it and I'm so freaking excited and the fact that I have this many vacation days just goes to show I have like a disorder where I have like this weird scarcity mindset I don't know like I just like even if I have something I can't use it it's like a squirrel with nuts and I really don't know where this came from like you would truly think I grew up poor <laughs> based on like how because especially with money like I'm just like a big like saver like I need it and I won't use it and I I did not I did not grow up poor I grew up truly middle class and I say truly middle class guys because I have seen so many youtubers who say they grew up middle class and I'm like do you know what the definition of middle class is one of them for example her house it has come to light that she grew up in like her family's house so it's not hers is worth 2.5 million dollars and she has made multiple YouTube videos saying she is just middle class, you know, she's not rich or anything like that. I'm sorry, but if you live in a $2.5 million home and you were wearing designer items left and right because people had speculated for a while based on what she, you know, can afford, you're not middle class. Like, is, is that just me? Like, that's not middle class. And there even is like a section of being upper middle class, but I would say if you live in a $2.5 million home, you're, you're past that, buddy. You're past that. And there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know why people always try to like, lie and make it seem like they came from these humble beginnings if you didn't who cares like I, I i i don't know weird it's just weird the things i end up ranting about during my vlog intros anyway hello welcome to the vlog i'm gonna continue my makeup and try to actually look like a human being this morning but yeah two-day work week what up what am i doing with my hands today is an exciting day because i actually get to pick out a dress you guys know in the winter months i'm just in a turtleneck and sweaters and scarves and hats and gloves i'm always outside but today for my story i am inside and this is about to sound like such a first world problem i know it but i'm so sick of every dress i own like i feel like i've worn them all 12 times 15 like I don't know and i'm actually considering selling a lot of these to be honest and i feel like so many of them it's just like summer dresses like in the winter months it's just so hard like i don't want to wear short sleeves i don't want to wear strapless like or not strapless that'd be weird to wear to work but yeah so we're gonna we're gonna take a dive into the collection okay and i feel like what how many how many dresses would you say this is like 50 maybe somewhere around there and i seriously just wear like the same seven on rotation even on a day i get to wear a dress I just could not go for normal shoes. Guys, no one's gonna see them on camera. That's my thought process. And these are just so comfy. I know they look ridiculous, trust me, but all that matters is like here up. Watch for some weird reason my shoes get in it, but no. Comfort is key. I will not be told otherwise. Also, my hair is reaching the point where it is just way too long to be worn straight on TV. Like I just hate long straight hair on me. It just always reminds me of like, I don't know, a serial killer. That doesn't even make sense. But yeah, I'm getting a, a cut, a chop. I don't know what I'm doing this week, Friday. So I'm super excited about that. I think I'm just gonna do angles, layers, still rock the middle part. And the question is just how much am I getting off? Like, will it just be like a little trim? Will I do more? I really have no idea. This is my morning because it is National Pie Day. So I'm here at Walt's Hitching Post in Northern Kentucky. It is 
just my vibe. Like if I were to describe a restaurant to a T of what I like, like I just love like dim lighting. I don't like fancy. Like I just, I love this. And I feel like the fact that I have this pie sitting in front of me is just karma at its finest because last night guys, I did a thing. I did a thing where you guys know I am allergic to eggs and I'm lactose intolerant. I'm also allergic to tree nuts. So I would never mess with tree nuts, but every once in a while, I do have things that contain milk. Really, it's just this one thing. I talked about it in the last vlog, the Power Crunch bars that Zach brought home. I thought I wasn't gonna eat one. I can't even. These are so freaking good. Don't keep them out of my sight. I don't know. It just, it felt right last night. So I ate one and I could just tell this morning, really all that happens is my stomach, it just like is like gurgly and unsettled. It's just, it's very noticeable. And especially waking up so early and like not sleeping it off, like not getting a full six, seven, eight hours of sleep or whatever it might be is not the best. And yeah, now I'm being taunted by this pie, which obviously I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. We're gonna keep this here, keep it as a prop for the morning. But yeah, I feel like you just gotta, you just gotta live and you learn. I learned. I am so hungry right now, Catherine. And normally in a situation as good as this one where I've got a full pot of myself right here, big old slice, I would want to be alone and isolated in my own bubble, don't bother me, but this morning I am making an exception. I wanna bring in Jennifer Steele, who is the CEO of Meals on Wheels. She's the one exception I can make because she's doing amazing things for the senior community, starting with the Bust Across campaign. I'm back home for a hot minute before my 10 a.m. shoot back in Northern Kentucky. I'm here with my work buddy, my little partner in crime. What's up work buddy? I actually wait, Zach was a popular guy at the shoe store yesterday. Uh, all of uh, Clancy's. Watchers were, were out and about at that what mall. Okay, I have a question. Zach, why do you always wait until to, to be on camera to just like yawn and stretch while talking? <laughs> there was one video. <laughs> I was so mad. It was Zach and I's big proposal, the story of how he proposed video. This man must have burped and just like done the weirdest things in the background <laughs> one million times. Like he was just like scratching his head, stretching. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want me on, why well, do you no, shut the camera in my face? No, I want you on, but you just do crazy things. People don't understand the abuse I get, but no, that was funny. I was at Saucony at the outlet mall. It's a shoe brand. I think two of the workers recognized me from Clancy's videos, and there was a woman in the store buying shoes, I think, with her husband as well. So if you're watching this, it was nice to meet you. Oh, that's so funny. It's just so cute because like it was just Zach alone. So that was awesome. And people always ask me if I get recognized from the news or for YouTube more. Guys, I think I've gotten recognized from the news like, I don't know, three times in the past year. Like I never, ever get recognized from the news. It's always YouTube. Oh, and Zach, do you know what day it is? <laughs> March 14th. <laughs> it's Thursday for me. All right, it's a lot later. I am still not done with my work, but I need to just call it quits because it's just, it's been a long day. And while some of us are about to air fry up some chicken and make some nice homemade quinoa and lunch because I'm trying to save money and really just do what is best for the financial situation of the Burke Rogel household, others have decided to take it upon themselves. Ooh, a nice little carry-out order. What do you have to say for yourself? I work hard so I can get carry-out. <laughs> you don't work hard so you get take-home, or take-home, <laughs> you get air fryer. I get air fryer, by the way. I feel like people are gonna be like, what are you talking about? I'm obviously kidding, but I do want Zach to give us a little haul. First of all, where'd you go? Sleepy Bee. Sleepy Bee is like a place here in Cincinnati. It's a very big breakfast spot but I'm intrigued because Zach didn't get breakfast. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Chicken sandwich and sweet potatoes. Stop, that smells so <laughs> good and it looks so good. I didn't know they sold this. They sold, why are we saying weird things? They made it. I'm when not I, saying weird You things. said something weird to take home. <laughs> what the heck? We should go to Sleepy Bee together one time. I've never gone. I love Sleepy Bee, so. Except that one time I got it for you, you were so not grateful. <laughs> you put bacon in a... <laughs> in the batter. <laughs> I went to go sense. surprise him because it was after his bike accident with um, pancakes with bacon on the side because that's what he likes and I accidentally asked them to put it in the <laughs> batter. So it was like bacon infused pancakes. What's this? What's the German, it's a Cincinnati thing. Oh, 
ghetto. Tr- yeah, it's ghetto. Jeez, my brain wasn't working. I want to walk you guys through what my new favorite lunch is. I take a bag of frozen cauliflower and I put it in the microwave for like four minutes. Then I put it on broil for like 10, which makes like this kind of like crispiness on top, which I love. Let's put that there. Then I take a fourth of a cup of quinoa. Like this is just like the regular serving size. Boil that, mix those together, and then I have my chicken on the side. And this is the finished product all mixed together. And lunch is just like the hardest meal for me. I just, I don't know. I can never find one that I like and I always get so sick of them. For now, this is this is a pretty solid lunch. Do you guys see what time it is? It is 6.44. Zach and I both finished our workouts. He's over there in his cute little headband. <laughs> And do you guys see this? Sunlight, daylight saving time hit this weekend. And even though it sucks, we lost an hour. I don't care. This is miraculous. And tonight is a very exciting night. The Bachelor finale. I have not been watching The Bachelor. It could not interest me any less. I think one of the problems is it's a two hour show. Like they just drag it on and on and the drama is fake. It's annoying, but this ending and everything that happened last week with Clayton the bachelor telling Susie he slept with two of the women before her and he still loves her the most I'm sorry but no no yeah you you want to you say you want to spend the rest of your life with Susie yet you just slept with someone a day ago like no I'm sorry but that is like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard are you team Clayton or team America it's America versus Clayton yeah I don't know if they hate him it's Jack, just he's he handling getting, his bad he's getting you you're not even on the, the Twitter I'm not on the Twitter I think it's hard because I think in the shows like past like it's like how do you like when do you say I love you to someone or multiple people and, or if you don't till the end and feel like he thought he was doing a good thing like I don't think he was doing it yeah, I'm talking about him sleeping with two people before wanting to propose to another. Okay, so first, if he for sure thought he wanted to, is it Susie? Yeah. Wanted to be with Susie, and then he still did that, then yes, that's bad. But he would certainly not be the first person to sleep with multiple people on The Bachelor. No, it is true. and there like, is, It's like the show is set up that way. There is, a, there is a big double standard that's going on that I don't think people realize. Hannah Brown, if you guys remember when she was The Bachelorette, there was a guy who like freaked out when he found out, whoa, son, when he found out uh, she had slept with someone else and everyone jumped on Hannah Brown's defense being like, woo, like girl power. It's so, it's so, anytime you can have a double standard, there will be. And I'm not saying for guys or girls, it's, I think like it's yeah, like it's people just, view it so. both ways. So you are correct if it comes out that like, he's like gonna end up saying the whole time because it did seem like he wanted to be with Susie at the end. So if he did know that, then I mean, the only person he's hurt is himself. And I guess the other two women, so Susie and the girls, but if he ultimately wanted to be with Susie. The girls? <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother discussion. Gosh. Yes, they are female. I've gotten in trouble I told for calling women girls. Okay, actually, let us tell us in the comments below. Zach refers to women as girls a lot. And I told him, like, maybe you shouldn't do that as much because it can come across as a little bit degrading. To, like, I'm not a girl. I'm a, I'm a woman. And we, um, we got into a little bit of a, a discussion. So, in my defense, and then I understand that standpoint now that I've been told that, it's not something that... I've ever said in a degrading manner. So if someone's ever, so say you've had a boss and they're like, oh, the girls over there, go get me caught, whatever. If it's ever happened to you, then certainly, yes, it's degrading, that's mean, that's rude, that's not okay. But I I mean, I used to walk into work at my old job, tech systems all the time. If there was girls at the front desk and I'd say, good morning girls, how are you? And whatever, no one's ever said anything to me about this so I don't know if it's a newer thing that is coming up as everyone's being more conscious of how they address people pronouns the workplace whatever it might be but if it's something that offends people it's good for me to know but I certainly think if you're a female and a guy ever addresses you like good morning girls or whatever else I think maybe give him a breather give him a break because I don't think it's always meant as some condescending thing I work currently with mostly females and yeah, I mean, that's good for me to know. I mean, that's something that I need to be conscious of and we'll put that in the back pocket to remember. And I told Zach, cause Zach thought I was gonna be like on his like opinion with this. Like he was surprised that I was like, no, like I don't think you should call women girls. But I told him in a relationship, you gotta, you gotta challenge each other. You gotta- Well, yeah, I mean, I want, I like trying to call them girls. It's like, 
Guys, I am so sad because my skin is just going through it right now. I'm just putting on this, what is it, Laneige sleeping mask. I clearly wear it not just when I'm sleeping because this stuff saved my lips when the cold hit this winter. But I decided, based on the recommendation of my esthetician, I don't really, I, I don't really have an esthetician. Basically, I was getting a facial one day, and she recommended I try retinol, which I've always heard is the secret to aging and keeping your skin looking good. I never wanted to bite the bullet though because I heard it could be a little bit rough on your skin at first. There's like a period where bad things happen and I had a feeling that would be me. Oh, it is. I use, this is just what she recommended to me, the Jan Marini, definitely butchering that name, Age Intervention Retinol Plus. And I've been using this for probably, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks and my skin is actually peeling. And it's like a different place each day. It's normal. This is what I heard happens with retinol. And I heard it's a good thing. It means it's working. It means it's something like killing your dead skin cells, something like that. But like right over here, you probably can't even, I just exfoliated, so it's gone. But it'll peel again by tomorrow morning. Oh, it will. And it's disgusting when I put on makeup. Like today I arrived to my interviews like with a flaky face. Not really, I'm exaggerating. But I just, I'm, I'm not really a fan, but I am sticking with this because I just feel like good skin, like oh, there's like nothing more important. Like if you have good skin, it's just everything else can fall into place in the beauty, <laughs> in the beauty world. I mean, I don't, I'm not referring to like your life. So I'm sticking with this and it's good that I have my staycation so I won't be seeing as many people as usual. I usually let that sit and then I go in with, I love this moisturizer for winter especially. It's the Obagi Hydrate facial moisturizer. It is not cheap. I will warn you that. And if there's like one thing that I'm willing to spend a little bit of extra money on, it's it's skincare. Like that to me is way more valuable than like buying designer clothes or anything like that. Because if I have on cute clothes, my face isn't cute, then who the heck cares about the clothes? On my neck, I do put on a moisturizer. I actually use the Clinique Dramatically Different Lotion because I feel like my neck can use something a little more thick. Does anyone else have the tree trunk neck? Like there are lines on my neck, which is so disgusting. It grosses me out. I'm very disappointed in myself. I don't know how that happened. I probably do. I really had not been moisturizing my neck until, I don't know, a couple years ago. So it's not, it's not a good time, but one time, oh my gosh, I read in this book, this Fox News anchor, I totally forget her name, but I'll put it on the screen right now. She got a surgery to try to remove the tree trunk neck and her face was partially paralyzed for a little bit of time. Like she thought she was never gonna be able to go on air again. She's the meteorologist for Fox News and it was awful. She's recovered now, but it always just goes to show man oh man like is it worth it is that risk worth it with plastic surgery because there's always a risk then for my eyes i go in with the biosense squalane marine algae eye cream why do they have the stupidest names how am i ever going to pronounce that like they're just asking for me to look like an idiot on youtube in front of everyone and then really quickly just want to show you guys what i use in the shower for my cleanser i use the purity made simple facial cleanser i've been using this since my freshman year of college love it clearly as you could tell and then probably like every other day every two days I exfoliate. I just use the daily exfoliant from PCA Skin. Exfoliating every day is tempting because it feels so good, but you should not because it's going to dry out your skin, especially if you have more dry skin like myself. Now it's time, believe it or not, for me to go to my computer and finish the work that I kind of blew off today. What happened was I got to my story and they had six people lined up for me to talk to and I just felt way too bad telling them no. Like, like I can't fit that many people in my live shots so basically what's gonna end up happening and what is happening is i'm just gonna do more work and i'm just gonna create more live shots like normally i recycle throughout the morning but i i feel too bad so yeah i didn't want to turn anyone away and i'm probably just gonna do this for like i don't know 20 minutes eat dinner and then it's time all right so that's not special Guys, the time has come. I'm about to submit my vacation forms for when I go away, even though it, when I go away, where am I going? Nowhere, this is a staycation and I'm not gonna lie, I feel so guilty about this. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I just feel so, like I'm not doing anything, so why can't I go to work, I get. Like, it just, it's, uh, I'm like, but I earn these days. I earn these days, I never take time off. So like, but that's not true, I just took, a week in Miami like two months ago like I feel so guilty and did I even tell you guys how many days I have off like I'm embarrassed to admit it and I wasn't even going to admit it but I have Wednesday Thursday Friday of this week off 
then all of next week, and then Monday. I know, like that, like I'm a loser. I just, and the thing is, I'm telling myself, like, I'm, it's not like I'm just gonna be laying on the couch for these next almost two weeks. No, like I'm gonna be doing some work. I've got, where is it? I have a whole to-do list that I wrote out. A bunch of things in my planner right over here. So many things I plan on getting done and it's gonna be great, but let's be real, it's not gonna be like a nine hour work day like I'm used to and I don't know guys. I'm like, but I shouldn't feel that way, right? Like you earn these days off and I just feel so grateful to even get time off because for my brother's job, he doesn't get paid time off. If he wants to take off, he has to not get paid, which is crazy. Like, I can't even imagine that. And so like, I'm so grateful I even get these days and I shouldn't feel guilty. Even if I wanted to sit on the couch for a week and a half, like I should be able to do that. I, I, right now I'm having a pep talk with myself, you're, is what you're witnessing. <laughs> I'm just trying to convince myself. Zach, do you have any words of wisdom or insight? If you want to sit on the couch for a week and a half, you can. If you want to just sit on the couch, you can like do fun stuff. Well, yeah, no, I, I plan on, I, but what I'm saying is I feel like I'm always like, I must do like this and that. I'm so excited. I've already planned out, like if you wouldn't mind pumping my bike tires, you wanna go for a bike ride tomorrow. I've, I've got my whole to-do list, but not, not even like just work stuff, like fun stuff. What, what's up? I'm getting a facial, I'm getting a haircut. I'm gonna get my nails done at one point. I'm, and, and this is all such, like this is stupid stuff and it's unproductive and, I just have like this weird guilty like thing right now about taking these days off and like even <laughs> when I've like mentioned it to people at work like they're like oh where are you going I'm like nowhere absolutely nowhere I don't know I just like even like when we went to Jamaica or like if I go on a vacation like I don't feel guilt for it because it's like okay like I'm doing something like I'm going somewhere cool this is just I don't know so anyway uh, point point being I am submitting all of my vacation, like I already submitted the request, obviously I got approved, but I just have to like submit the time cards right now because I don't want to have to worry about this next week when I'm on <laughs> vacation, even though I'll just be sitting right in front of my laptop. And I'm just going to make it a point to not feel guilty this week, or at least try not to feel guilty. And just, I earned, I earned it. I earned it. I'm just convincing myself. You're, you're witnessing this all happen in real time. For today's lunch, I just cut up and cooked some butternut squash and Brussels sprouts. And then I actually have another one for tomorrow because that's how much it made me. I'm so happy about that. So I'll box that one up and put it in the fridge. And then I also have salmon going in the air fryer now. Ew, uncooked salmon looks disgusting. Let's pretend that never happened. Zach, I want to show you my lunch for a very specific reason. Take a look at this. What's the specific reason? This is what you will get once we get married. Like my big excuse for why I haven't been cooking for you all these years is we're not official. You never tied the knot, so. Well, oh, we're not official? Well, we're official. <laughs> Based on the story Zach just told me, we're not official. <laughs> yeah, the story. Do you want to tell YouTube about your big night where you had to tell a girl you were engaged? We have once every six years I might get hit on at a bar, so I have to like talk about it. I wasn't even there to claim my prize. <laughs> yeah, your big prize. But are you excited for this in the future? Yeah, one day, <laughs> 2024. It's gonna happen guys, one of these days, but for now, it's every man for themselves. This will forever be my favorite workout shirt. I mean, when you have a duck on your shirt, like nothing is better, but I am in such a good mood. I just got back from a two mile run, one mile walk, then I went to the gym, and today was supposed to be a rest day, but how could it be a rest day when it is 68 degrees outside. I woke up from my nap, saw it was just so sunny and beautiful, and it's the complete opposite that happens in the winter months where on non-rest days, where I'm supposed to get to the gym, last place I wanna be. Cause like, even just walking outside is the worst. And also doing just like months of indoor workouts, like I hate it. Like I love having my workouts be like outside and running and in nature and, oh my gosh, I just feel like these past few months I've been in such a funk and it really like culminates and all adds up. I feel like in February, like February historically is just, I have actually, oh my gosh, I wonder, I'm gonna find it. This is by the way, not planned. There are so many times in YouTube videos where this happens, where YouTubers, I can't explain it. I'm like, oh wow, they totally just like scripted that. Like I'm about to find a journal entry from, uh, here, let me, let me just like spin the camera. I'm about to try to find a journal entry from when I was in like seventh or eighth grade that I know I have in here because I've seen it in the past couple years. 
but there's so many times YouTubers do this and I'm like, wow, they definitely scripted that and they have like the journal sitting by. I promise you guys, this is not scripted. This is by the way, <laughs> the little suitcase where I keep a lot of my journals. It does not fit all of them because I have so many just all throughout like our apartment. But look, I've been keeping a journal since uh, seventh grade. So we've got this. A little bit of this, boom. This is like my favorite, it's like gold and I love that. Um, yeah, I just have like a million journals, but oh. All right, really this isn't scripted, it's not in here. Let's see, there's one other spot it could be. Oh gosh, where is it? Okay, because I totally let you guys down and I wasn't able to show you what I wanted to, it was basically this whole diary entry of me talking about how people shouldn't judge the month of February because February deserves to be just as loved as every other month. I was like 12, it was so weird. But I was just looking through my old diary from Dayton and I'll give you guys a little juice. This one's funny, it just goes to show like the dating scene in Dayton was just not it. September 24th, 2017, Dear Diary, Operation Clancy decides to date has turned out to be a very bad idea. I now have two guys pursuing me and all I want is to just chill and be myself. It's frustrating. Things with blank will never work out because he doesn't like sports and owns two cats. My deal breakers. And things with blank can never work out because he's old enough to be my father. Obviously not really, but the age gap is just alarming to say the least. Ugh, like I don't know. I had a great time with both guys, but I don't know. And now they both want to go out again and I barely have enough time for one, let alone two. I told blank I had to work today because a coworker had walking pneumonia. LOL, I'm the worst. Oh my goodness, I remember that. That was not good. And by the way, I actually just remembered this. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is some tea. When I was in Dayton, I one time tweeted out that um, February was my least favorite month. Like it was like February 1st and I said like, oh, welcome to my least favorite month. One of my coworkers messaged me on Twitter um, telling me that like what I said was offensive because it was Black History Month. And like, I swear, like I didn't mean any offense to that at all. I was not thinking about it. And I explained like, I, I seriously, it's just the snow and then I was single at the time, like Valentine's Day for single people, but I remember that and it just goes to show like, you seriously never know like who you might be offending with your words. It's like scary. Like I feel like I'm scared to even like tweet anything anymore because like everything can be taken the wrong way. Like it had, it wasn't even, like I don't, I never like, I don't know, like for example, March is like women's month, I think. Like I, I never really, I always forget about those months. Like I don't know, celebrate it all the time, I guess. But anyway, all that to say, I just feel like once winter hit, like I've just been in such, like it just like, I'm just significantly less happy in the colder months. Like, and, and I'm, everything's fine in my life. Like everything's wonderful and I'm, I'm happy in general, but like the weather impacts so much, like not just my mood with the sun, but just like truly like what I'm able to do, my routine. And it just makes me realize like, why am I living in a place where I am not happy for what, like four, five months out of the year? Like the fact that I could be experiencing this year round, like why am I not? Like why, it's my choice, like why am I not? Like it just doesn't make any sense. And like part of me is like, oh, like if I have this year round, maybe I won't appreciate it. Maybe I need the winter months, but it's like, what, I need to be miserable to appreciate being happy? Like, that shouldn't be, I don't know. So yeah, I just feel like I've been like super unmotivated with everything these past few months. And just with like the sun even still being up right now at 6.15 and having it be nice outside, like it's just impacting my mood so much. And I feel like I'm finally getting out of my funk. I've just been like super unmotivated with everything, everything. My TV job, YouTube, like, working out it's just like it's i don't know i just i just haven't been feeling the most motivated but i'm really really excited to like hopefully get back on track with the warmer weather that is upon us and yeah i'm just and who the heck knows man uh, this week and a half i don't know i'm determined to be somewhat productive like productive in the sense of just like waking up and going to the gym and just like taking advantage of not having to wake up at two guys i could cry the fact that tomorrow i'm just gonna be sleep sleep sleeping and not waking up at two in the morning, like. <laughs> and of course, you guys already know what's going on tonight. Bachelor part two. I didn't even tell you guys my thoughts on part one because it's obvious what my thoughts are. Clayton, bye bye Life is so unfair. I am so angry right now, guys. The Bachelor is on. It's the big finale. 
I have never looked forward to a show more in my life. Like, what the? I, I wanted to watch this. I don't know what to do. And Zach's not here. He's out with one of his friends. They're at dinner, and they're probably just going to be out all night. And oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. And I know I'm being dramatic, and I don't really care. I'm just this. Ah, oh, this stinks. Well, I'm just going to stare at a wall all night because our internet isn't working either. Nothing is working. Nothing. I am sad, and I'm ending this vlog on a sad note. Tune in next week to maybe see me be happy again. <laughs> Bye. All the way from Long Island, now happy in Ohio. She has the most amazing chocolate oatmeal recipe I know. Hey, that's Clancy Burke. Yeah, you heard it here, you heard it here first. Up and out of my for the Cincinnati News reported Behind the scenes from work Here's Clancy Burke